Sometimes we don't know how good we have it until we are put to the test. And in the internet age, it's become easier than ever for people to sling around the phrase, worst thing ever. How can we live in peace and harmony when everything is measured to such hyperbole? Well, maybe it's time for something to bring us all together. Maybe there is a point we can all agree on. Maybe there is something magical out there that shouts, ME! I'M THE WORST! Well, it already exists, and it's the lowest bar a video game can achieve. I tried to warn you the first time. Hopefully, we can all come together when I re-complete The Bachelor, the video game. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another brand new episode of The Completionist New Game Plus. My name is Gerard Khalil, I am 30 years old, and I am a gamer. And today on the show, I wanted to do something a little bit special, a little different. I thought we'd be doing our own take of The Bachelor. Unfortunately, we only have people from the office to be in this whole episode. So come join us as we find out if I can find digital manufactured video game love in The Bachelor of the Video Game for the DS. Again. Why are we doing this again? Hi, I'm Ted, community manager, writer, poet, actor, at the completionist. I, when I was little, when I would wait for the bus, I needed to occupy my time, so I had found a piece of garbage, and it was a Coke bottle, and I would just sniff it every day before the bus came. I'm Bradley, I'm an editor. I think Gerard should pick me, because of my raw sexual energy. Hey, I'm Frazier. Um, what is this? I heard there was gonna be free booze. It's The Bachelor. Like the reality marriage show. Yeah, did you not get the emails about this? Yeah, but what's that big bag of popcorn doing? Is that like another contestant or something, or what? Yes! You know how you kind of absorb knowledge from the people you live with even though you don't want to learn it? Well, I have sisters in the wedding industry, and for a long time, all of their conversations were dominated by two things, work and The Bachelor, the show that pits 25 women against each other for the affection of one man. You know, love. That's how I know Ryan and Tristan are still together. That's how I know where the phrase waboom comes from. And that's how I know what can I steal you for a moment actually means. So one day, I thought it would be funny to buy The Bachelor, the video game at Toys R Us. It was $9. I thought it would be a good gag episode. What I came to review was, to that day, the worst video game we had ever covered on the show. It doesn't help that I'm less than a fan of The Bachelor. Personally, with my experience as an editor, I can see how chopped and screwed each episode is to manufacture any and all kind of drama. Get a bunch of people drunk in a room, film it, edit it, and then send it out for the world to gawk at like a three cent freak show. Despite my reservations, The Bachelor has been going on for 22 seasons, and The Bachelorette has a run of 14. So it looks like America will never lose its love for vodka-soaked pseudodrama. With its success comes the old tale of famous show launches into every form of merchandise available. And this story always leads to one place, video games. At the time, the Wii and DS had solidified themselves as accessible consoles. Anyone could play them. Anyone. But that double-edged sword opened the door to an onslaught of pandering shovelware. Titles that are familiar to an untapped audience but lack any real substance. Which includes, of course, The Bachelor. It was never a particularly difficult game to beat. The last time, it took only a few hours. But on my psyche, I can still feel the freaking scars. Complete Completing The Bachelor the video game for the second time required me to, first off, beat the first five seasons of the show. Each season has three episodes, and within those episodes are group dates, aka mini games, and one solo date, also known as another mini game. After I've gotten all the roses and married all the women, it's time to flip genders and do it all over again. 
This time, from the female perspective, also known as more fucking mini games. In fact, the same fucking mini games. Then, to clean it up, it's off to the love tester. I'll be taking a series of quizzes to find out how I am as a lover. You know, it'll be interesting to compare my results to what I got so many years ago. Oh no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just gonna hit random buttons. And as the final part of the completion process, I'll go sit in my car and think about what I've done to lead myself to this point. After a good scream or two or three or seven, it's off to Chipotle. Mmm. Comfort fajitas. It might not be the exact same, but I'm starting to understand how the jackass guys felt before they had to do some of their classic idiocy. But instead of snorting wasabi, I'll be flailing, crotch first, into a brick wall of shovelware. To make matters worse, I picked the lesser of the two versions of the game. The Bachelor has been made for the Wii and then ported over to the Nintendo DS. And with most titles like that, several cuts have been made to the game. God, I hope I choose my Bachelor better than I choose the games I complete. All right, gentlemen, I'm the most passable Chris Harrison in the office because I'm white and I have a tie. How's the group date going? So far, so good. I have been really impressed by everyone. I'm just drinking until I forget what sadness is. It is hot on my trail. I did a push-up to completion. 10 pound bag of popcorn over here showed everyone how to meditate. I, I can be impressive. Gerard, I wrote you a poem. <sighs> I like big butts. But I must lie, while other brothers can't deny, when someone walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in my face, I get scared. My anaconda don't. <laughs> what a story, Popcorn. That's such a fascinating story. I can even tell a story like that if I wanted to. What's your sign? What are you about? Tell me what's up. Is there any point that we can maybe possibly <laughs> Get a beer? Although this game is all about love, something I realized the second time through was that no one cared about this game. It has every aspect of rushed shovelware games that the Wii and DS sadly had a reputation for. It still reeks of money grabbing. The premise barely becomes close to the source material. Yes, you are trying to win the affection of the bachelor or bachelorette, depending on which gender you choose. You do go on group dates with this person, and there is indeed a rose ceremony. Unfortunately, nothing social enters into it whatsoever. After playing so many more games since I last reviewed The Bachelor, I now know this game could have actually been so much more. It could have been an interesting series of social repercussions and challenge games that could have felt like a multi-branching visual novel. Imagine, a game sophisticated enough for you to be on a reality show creating allies and enemies all the while competing for love. In actuality, each of the seasons revolve around playing a single unnamed occupation like the architect or the photographer then chasing after a real-life bachelorette of yesteryear I'm starting to realize why this game was so hard to make fun of the first time around. It's so lukewarm. It tries to be a Mario Party type thing for single player, but it's less WarioWare and more BorioWare. To catch the heart of your true love, you'll have to do things like trace zodiac signs, inflate the volleyballs, and of course, fit pieces of things into a bigger puzzle. So, uh, this one is themed about films. So obviously I'm going to make things like the little uh, f***ing thing you do when you write in the, the slate. That's the one, yeah, the slate. Most of these little diversions aren't even worth putting on freearcade.com. <laughs> is freearcade.com a website still? I didn't think that was a thing. Now, I'm no pickup artist, thank God, but I just don't think catching a bunch of falling clams out of the air is worth anything marriage worthy. And I'm sorry, but what do hexagons have to do with opening a bottle of suntan lotion? Or baking a pie? Or putting on skates? Or even just guessing the amount of liquid in the bottles of alcohol we're about to drink that's not actually alcohol, it's like a juice. What's all this for? That's right, they're all the same f game. The Bachelor the video game does such a lazy job at connecting whatever the location the date is to the activity at hand, except for maybe the booze weighing game. It at least has the subtext that there was a lot of alcohol involved in the show, in the production, and in completing the game itself. You pushed me to the sauce, Chris Harrison, and now I have a problem. Now that I got that off my chest, before and after every solo date, there are short pre-rendered cutscenes of simple little dating interludes. I'm gonna say pre-rendered shortcuts 
cutscenes is saying too much about it because they're not that. The first time around, I gave the game kudos for its attempts at adding some additional movement to a pretty stagnant game. What drug was I on when I wrote that script? Because holy God, from the looks of it, this game comes off as a bachelor version of The Sims. Not a garbage fire of games that wouldn't even be good enough to put on a Nokia candy bar phone. For shame, Ludia shame. Maybe it'd be easy to overlook it all if the characters didn't look like a thrift store version of a Margaret Keene painting. And the music in this game makes me wonder if any of the names in the credits are actually real. To its credit, the music is where the game pays homage to the reality genre the most, by being terrible. There are repetitive tracks that aren't catchy as much as they are virusy. They bury themselves deep into your psyche until you hum along with a pensive nausea. The music designers must have gotten wise, because in some of the levels, there aren't any music at all. Some of these quote unquote mini games are played over crowd noise or water running. And worst of all, sometimes it's deafening silence. What happened? There's no good answer to this. It's either a glitch or it's a terribly made game or there's no music and it's simply a terribly made game. Even the menus are lazy and uninspired. What could have been bordered with roses and hearts is just a bland pink PowerPoint. Guys, all I'm saying is if you have to make shovelware, if you are like, I'm a game dev, I'm trying to grow up, I'm trying to get these skills, I'm trying to make something fun and unique, but I have to make this bachelor game, put your heart and soul into it. We're watching. Someone's watching, I'm watching. I believe in you. The Bachelor the video game deserves as much attention as it was put into it. What could have been a game about the social nightmare that is getting married in only a few weeks has turned into a collection of games that you wouldn't even play if they were free. Even if I took away the sad disconnect from the TV show, the games themselves are tragic. Doing them once is boring enough, but having to go through them almost 15 times a piece feels like a waste of time that, ironically, could have been spent with my actual loved ones. Instead, I'm tracing a snail for the 90th time, like I'm some sort of obsessive compulsive entomologist. The first time I played this, I thought it'd be a funny joke, and I was sorely mistaken. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the final rose ceremony. Only two of you will be chosen for Gerard's ultimate wedding decision. I bid 600, Bob. For the last time, this isn't The Price is Right. Gerard, who do you choose? I choose... Popcorn. And now the final decision. For one of you, a chance at winning a ring from Gerard Khalil. For the other two, heartbreak. Gerard, who do you give your final rose to? You know, Chris, it was a really hard decision. But ultimately, it comes down to the person who is not Ted Frazier. Whoa, I got the showcase showdown. No, no, fire upon the gods. Oh, these aching tendrils called heartstrings, they pull as taut as piano wire, unfetter me from their steely restraints. <laughs> guy's got some chops, actually. Kind of gross. Oh, it's a little gross. It's a little gross. Oh. It's not that not, gross. Not that gross. Yeah. After I slogged my way through 10 seasons of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, it was time for an easy ride through The Love Tester. It was easy, not good. They amount to those quizzes that you would find in Cosmopolitan or People magazines. A bunch of hypothetical situations with only four answers, and in those four answers, over 10 questions, you find out exactly who you are. Or in my case, you find out who Captain Random Poke is. You can go back and check out the FMVs you may have missed from each date, but they are similar to the 10 videos you had already seen before. Although they may be worth going back to so you can watch this. I think she just killed that guy. Aside from that, this game is not as funny as I remember. In fact, now it wasn't fun at all. It's not like Ride to Hell Retribution. There aren't any chances taken, therefore there aren't any giant failures. The only massive issue is that it's useless. It doesn't serve as any fun reminder of the show, and it does absolutely nothing as a video game. The games are subpar, even worse than some you would see in an ad on the sidebar of a torrent site. And repeating the same nine games over and over and over again without any changes in difficulty is like holding your arms in the air until they start to shake. The presentation 
innovation is just lazy, and the missed opportunities for something so unique are too many to count. So, why would I do this? Well, maybe it's time to remind us all that the next time you're tempted to label something as the worst blank ever, remember, there is always something so worse. So cut those other games a break for caring. While I recompleted the batch of the video game, there were six hours of total playtime, 10 marriages entered into, 120 mini games completed, $9 unfortunately spent, but only one special somebody I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. So Gerard, you've made your final decision. How do you feel? I feel amazing, you know. I feel very confident in my choice today. Not mm. in recompleting the Bash of the Video Game because that game sucks. Oh God, yeah. It's awful. But in terms of this decision, this is perfect. Hey, why is he marrying Popcorn if he's already happily with a girlfriend? Oh no, no, she's just at Anime Expo having a way better time. Oh. Yeah. So here's the thing about the Bash of the Video Game, right? It's hardly a video game. I bought it brand new at Toys R Us for $9, and today brand new it's about a dollar. That's still too expensive. Be like me, don't buy the game, but instead buy yourself a 10 pound bag of popcorn and enjoy. Remind yourself that there are better things to do in this world with your time than to play anything remotely close to The Bachelor the Video Game. So with that in mind guys, I give this game still my completionist rating of Donate It. Donate it to a charity, donate it to Dogs Without Games, a charity designed for dogs to have more chew toys. It's not a real charity, but it could be. God damn it. <laughs>